Hi everyone, welcome back. So another video without sound. Bear with me for this and two more and then we'll be back to normal. We have the French defense on the board against international master the Marcus. And he played knight f3, knight c3. Now I'm thinking whether to go knight f6 or d4. But d4 is more principled, so I decided to go for it. Knight e2, c5. Now the main line is c3, after which I usually play knight f6. He went knight g3. Knight c6 is the principled choice. And uh, I believe also a6 is another interesting possibility, but bishop b5. And now knight g7. I'm preparing a6. And I would like to recapture with the knight, not to ruin my pawn structure. Now he went back with the bishop to e2. And um, I have an interesting choice how to proceed my development. So I can go knight g6 and try to get the bishop out. And I can also go g6 or h5, which are also two interesting moves, uh, which I kind of missed during the game. So I went for the most... Uh, Typical one, just finishing my development. Now again, bishop on d6 or on e7, not an easy choice to make. I believe both are kind of uh, the same value, but I prefer to put the bishop on a more solid square so that I can have bishop g5 in the future. And uh, yeah, so now that he wants f4, I can go e5 followed by bishop g5 if I wish. And he goes bishop g4, trying to secure the f5 square. I'll mention that if the bishop was on d6, he would have had knight g5 followed by f4 with the white pieces. Which is a little bit more active than what happened in the game. So, now I'm not sure if to go bishop e6 or to allow bishop takes c8. And uh, decided to go for bishop e6. So I'm... Inviting my opponent to take on e6 and kind of ruin my pawn structure, but then I'll have a nice grip at the light squares and uh, he can say goodbye to his f4 uh, related ideas. So he went knight f5 instead, which is a very uh, good move in my view. Currently threatening the g7 pawn and um, I'm thinking whether I should castle and allow him to take on e7 or to go bishop f6. And uh, I believe uh, both moves are interesting, but castles is more principled since taking on e7 doesn't really uh, yield an advantage for white. But now probably it's a good idea to go bishop f6 already. Because uh, yeah, if he gets f4 in, then I might be in a little bit of trouble. b5 followed by c4 is, is a very active plan. And now bishop c5 probably to put it uh, in the center rather than on f6. However, um, maybe the bishop on f6 is a bit better, closer to, to the king side, because uh, white now can start attacking me with either knight xg7 or knight h6 check, which I missed both during the game. I thought he will just make a waiting move, and um, yeah, then I might have taken on f4 and try to continue solidly, if it's a word. Uh, yeah, knight takes g7, and now I have to decide whether I go king takes g7 or bishop takes g4 first. And um, I decided mm, I won't ruin it for you, but uh, both moves look interesting. But I decided not to help him bring the queen into the game with tempo. So king takes g7 makes more sense. Because then after f5 with a fork, I can go bishop d7 or bishop c8. And after fg, I get to correct my pawn structure with either fg or hg. Um, my intuition is uh, leaning towards fg. And now my opponent has to decide whether he wants to continue with the attack with a move like queen d2 or something, followed by queen h6, and trying to mate me, or to take back the piece and uh, kind of uh, check out without uh, any advantage. So queen d2, he goes for the attack. Now he's threatening queen h6 check followed by f6. And uh, it might be dangerous for me, maybe queen h6 followed by fg. 
So I decided to go with the king. He's probably gonna go queen h6 anyway. So I just go king h8, preparing myself to his move queen h6, and maybe preparing some ideas like knight e7 uh, to get the piece to me to keep the piece without allowing f6 check. Unfortunately, if queen h6 knight e7, he still has f6 because he's threatening uh, queen g7 mate. So after queen h6, I'm going to be forced to make an active move, although not many such moves exist after queen h6. So I think the most logical continuation now would be rook g8. Preventing fg, because I have rook takes g6, winning the bishop on g4. And um, if he doesn't take fg now, then I'll have knight f8 on the next move. So I managed to maintain the peace. And um, now suddenly it seems like black should be better. And uh, two moves ago I felt like I should be in trouble. Probably knight h6 check was a better move than knight takes g7. So... Uh, fg is not so possible anymore so he has to find a good way to continue his initiative queen h5 allowing me to go back with the knight and uh, renewing his threat of fg so in a way forcing knight a7 or knight f8 knight f8 is much more active uh, because my queen is still uh, part of the let's call it the d8 h4 diagonal still aiming and preventing some keeping some squares from white's grip now he's attacking my pawn on f7 so i go f6 preparing bishop e8 rook a7 maybe rook g7 and uh, bringing all my pieces concentrating them on the king side so i won't get mated and then i'll slowly try to exploit let's say convert my material advantage so it's not so easy for white to to come up with a good move now since uh, it seems like his attack is over knight g6 check can be answered by knight xg6 so bishop e2 bishop e8 queen h6 and um, yeah rook a7 seems legit bringing it farther to the game i love this maneuver and now d takes c4 is just a blunder uh, missing d3 check and now i can take on e2 which probably should win uh, like a rook or something but i decided to simplify like this bishop takes e3 and only then de and now my opponent resigned so let's have a quick overlook at what happened in the game so he played this sideline of the french defense c3 is the main move as i mentioned before and um, now knight g3, knight c6, bishop b5, knight g7, I don't want to allow him to take on c6 and uh, ruin my pawn structure, yeah now knight g6 was probably inaccurate and I, the position is more or less equal after knight g6, I think after g6 black should be better, let's see what the computer is saying here and uh, h5 is the move the evaluation is quite surprising but uh, after uh, realizing that black white cannot prevent h4 it's uh, it becomes clear now knight g6 wins the pawn it becomes clear that i can go h4 followed by e5 and maybe later f6 g5 and knight g6 and white will not have a serious counterplay on the king side. He's just getting squeezed or crushed even. So knight g6 was probably uh, a big mistake uh, from objectively and uh, giving white some chances to get back to the game, which he seized quite well with this move bishop g4. Uh, I disagree with the computer evaluation. It says black is better, but this kind of King's Indian type uh, structure is... Uh, computer likes to underestimate uh, the initiative 
with this pawn break f4 and now as you can see it already changed its mind after bishop c5 knight h6 check white is suddenly better so bishop f6 to maintain the bishop on the king side uh, would have been the the wise choice and um now bishop c5 was probably quite a serious mistake my second mistake this game and uh, my opponent didn't uh, see knight h6 although it's not that clear that uh, this particular move order is better but it allows him to get bishop h6 in where because my king is not on g7 so he went king, knight takes g7 now we played a bunch of forced moves and now suddenly after queen h6 rook g8 is he can't retrieve the piece and uh yeah the matter is the uh, rest of uh, technique and uh, he blundered immediately so i wasn't even uh, challenged too badly and uh, now he resigned so I think it was a decent game overall. I made two serious mistakes, but uh, it's blitz, so it's regrettable, but uh, manageable in many cases, like this one. And uh, yeah, I'll continue to do two more videos this way because I recorded them without any sound. And afterwards, I'll get back to the normal approach of. Uh, just talking while recording. I hope you enjoyed watching this video or at least uh, learned something from it. And if you want to learn some more, then keep watching the next videos. And here's the real me. Uh, this time I decided to put a camera so you can see that uh, it's actually me speaking and not someone else using some machine, I don't know, that uh, generates my voice. So I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.